how taking a stand serves. So I just wanted to come on real quickly and explain something that some of you already know, of course, but this may very well just confirm how taking a stand actually serves. And so what am I talking about when I say taking a stand, how it ends up serving you? So for an example, for those of you who resonate as uh, having gone through like abusive situations, toxic situations, dynamics, whether this was lovers, uh, family, whoever, doesn't matter. And you, um, over time, eventually decide to go no contact, even though it's in some cases it's hard because there's a lot of people you may care for. There's a lot of people in these dynamics sometimes that you're like, ah, you know, the ignorance and, you know, they're not understanding. And so you, you feel some kind of way about it, but this is how it ends up helping. Let me explain. See, usually people do not want to change. They don't want to break the patterns, especially if they were not directly negatively impacted. So they really just prefer that we keep things as is. And they prefer that whoever that target was or scapegoat also do the same so that the peace can be kept. And when we do that, it allows people to stay in ignorance, to stay in blindness, to stay in indifference to stay in indecision, to stay in apathy about looking at the true culprits or perpetrators in these toxic situations. So when you take this stand and you say, okay, you know, you've given it all you have for however long you have. And then you say, I'm done with it all. I'm done with it all. I won't be dealing with people who are connected to these people because they're refusing to look at the behavior. They're refusing to see the truth. They're refusing to even hear. They're brainwashed and under mind control. So when you do that, that ghosting or that no contact or cutting people off, at some point for those that are open, now some point, some people, they're too entangled. They're too brainwashed. They're in too deep. Okay. Some of them gets benefits from these perpetrators, so they're not even trying to see it. Um, but for those who aren't, it forces them by way of your absence, by way of you taking the stand and say, hey, nah, this is fucked up. And until my fuckers start really dealing with shit, they my all their asses, you know what I'm saying? Might as well keep it, keep it pushing, bitch. Okay, so it forces them to have to do what? Stop and start paying attention. It's going to force them to stop and start. Uh, hold on, son. Stop and start looking at the perpetrator because they're going to start going, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me, you know, because this person is adamant. This person, you know what I'm saying? And they're not normally this way. So let me start paying the fuck attention. Let me open my eyes. Let me reevaluate. Let me really look at something that because I'm just looking for comforts and I want things to be the same, I was refusing to look at. So be encouraged. You taking a stand as awkward as it is for you, as hurtful as it may even be for you, because I'm sure some of you don't necessarily want to have to like cut off entire people, like entire groups and entire you know what I'm saying? But if they're too eng engulfed with the perpetrator, if they're too engulfed with the culprit, it's dangerous. And they're just going to continue to perpetuate the cycle of abuse. Okay? They just want you to keep the comforts going. The scapegoat and the target is usually the ones that, you know, everybody put their junk on and they expect the scapegoat and target just to accept it, just to eat it and just keep the peace and just smile and nod. Okay. And everybody's comfortable with that because it allows them to exist in peace and co, you know, habitate with the culprit, with these violators. And because they're not in direct, um, they're not being directly affected by these people then it's like they don't care. Humans have a tendency to be like that. Since it ain't happening to them, 
since this person's not doing it to them, since it's not somehow affecting their world, then humans have a tendency to just go, ah, oh, well, then no, this is not so this is not real because it's not happening to me. So when we take our stand, some people, not all of them, but at some point, there's going to be some people that start to wake the fuck up and start paying attention and start evaluating and start sensing into things and feeling into things and investigating things for themselves, which will eventually lead them to the truth. <laughs>